Final day of January, and it is eight degrees in Chicago. Good news, it's much warmer than that at Wintrust Arena, and that's where we have some Big East basketball tonight. The 24th-ranked UConn Huskies in town to take on the DePaul Blue Demons. Little hand fighting there before the tip, but ultimately Yorane controls it for DePaul. Loss last week to Xavier, and here they are going late in the shot clock. Preseason player of the year in the conference, Adama Sinogo gets the party started. Court for DePaul. So him in the lineup, it's a different DePaul look than what you, Connecticut might have seen on film. Boy, a great feed there from Caravan down to Sinogo. Off the mark for Andre Jackson, but a tap out to Jackson. And that's the thing against Connecticut. It's not the first shot, it's the second one. And the second one goes down, Jordan Hawkins. Caravan over the top to Sonogo. Sonogo with a good start. He has six. See, that's a point of emphasis so far. Yeah, and he wants to do that now. The Paul gets a little smaller here with Erol Penn sitting in foul trouble. I mean, that's tough. He picked up 2,024 seconds. That's a guy that gives him double digits off the bench. And there again is Sonogo, so he has eight all in the paint. Found something in that high-low game. I've been so impressed with Caravan this season, just the consistency for a young player, a freshman. He's missed, in fact, Connecticut, bottom 50 in the entire country as far as the most fouls per game. Stop and pop, that's what Jordan Hawkins can do. For the Paul Club that needs him. You see him now, they go 1-2-2, two, two, press, back to their matchup zone. But it affords the chance for you kind of get it right in the paint, and Johnson scores it. That's a, a, a say he has one of the highest basketball IQs on the team. Yeah, they called that a jump ball on the other end, so UConn gets it, and Caravan able to throw it down. Put some credit to Matt Johnson, the Connecticut strength coach. Yeah, put him in the weight room, it's paid off. Up nice. ahead, Sonogo all alone, he's got a dozen. And Caravan here again defensively with the wall, good contest. And then Andre Jackson taking that defense, turning it into offense. Sonogo with a great rim run. End to end, and that's where he's improved. His conditioning levels, his body's changed. Well, there's the a best lot of transfers in the Big East. Yeah, there's a lot of adults for them. The average age for them is over 21 for DePaul. Andre Jackson, the junior, flying in to put it back. There the year, and his team up seven right now here with about five to play and a steal. Tristan Newton, and he finishes tough through traffic. Like they played tonight, now we got to figure out a way defensively to get some stops. Newton hanging and finishing off the glass, and it's a 10-point lead for DePaul. Open look, Johnson, way too much. Klingon saves it. Hawkins on the reload, got it. I love that as a coach, where you just get to get back to your identity, work on some of the things that are staples to your program and the way you want to play. Like getting into the paint, and they've done that almost at will tonight. And Hawkins leads all scores with 15. Clinging on the tap back. So far tonight for DePaul. And for UConn, they get Sonogo back out there, and they go right into the big man, and he lays it in. Right on the turnovers. A lean from the wing, yes. A lot more potent offensively, and you see the action here. While the pick and roll is going on, a lean coming off a down screen from Jackson there. Getting his feet set, the lefty, he's had a season at. And I like how aggressive Tristan Newton's been tonight. And Sonogo, that's too easy. All right. <laughs> I know he'd, he'd like that, <laughs> the way he's shooting it tonight. Sonogo collects, that time blocked, but second time sticks it home. What a recovery, though, on the block by Yorane. And now Umoja Watch gets out. it, Watch and out. look at a block on the other end. And and this gets on one end, your name, that's what he does, block shots. But Jordan Hawkins says, anything you can do, <laughs> I can do better, big fella. Timed it up perfectly, chased down. You know, kids watch LeBron James do this religiously. Almost hit his head on the rim. The nine did not start here at DePaul, they transferred in. Newton, and he gets that to go. That stops the 10-0 run. Right now, they're getting it done on the defensive side of the ball. Newton from deep. 
Got fouled and count to three. That quiets the crowd. A huge shot. Etiquette, right? Tristan Newton, I, I love how aggressive he's been all night. And Emoja Gibson thinks about going under the screen there. And Tristan's improved. With J J Jalen Terry and Phil Gebber without, KT Ramey stepped up big here in the second half. Adama Sinogo backing his way into the chest of Nelson. Paul now in this matchup zone. They're going to dare the two bigs to make decisions. And <laughs> Pretty good one by Adama Sinogo. He's on the court. Nelson just kicked it off his foot. With numbers, Hawkins. Oh, boy. Look at that from Jordan Hawkins. And what allows him to do it is Sonogo's right improvement in his conditioning. You wouldn't have been able to do that with him last year. Always thought for Sonogo, get him here, get him three years, and send him on to the NBA. And this is his third junior season. And oh, my, that kid, Jordan Hawkins, not to be outdone, has 26 tonight. That slam. Off the pin down here from Sonogo, and you see the hesitation before he elevates. And that is UConn is going to get back to 500 in league play at six and six, 17 and six overall. Newton, there's the exclamation mark, and and that is encouraging for Connecticut staff and. Fans, it's been a, been a question. Right. But UConn got up 20. DePaul cut it to six, and then the Huskies put their foot on the gas and win it 90 to 76. And that'll do it from here in Chicago.